Hi, today we'll talk about how to bring together words that sound the same or similar in a shared vector space that joins an acoustic and a phonetic view of words. So the idea here is we will use a weekly supervised binary classification task and feed a Siamese network the acoustic representation and the phonetic representation through a series of transformations to calculate a fixed length vector at the end, the embedding, and then with some distance function, we will learn whether or not uh, the loss should update if they're matching or mismatching according to a true label. Now, instead of training it on the actual distance as the true label, we will just train it on a binary label. So the data we have here, we got it from ASR hypotheses and non-expert humans transcribing about 25k short um, recordings and these recordings do not have and these transcripts and recordings are uh, noisy and the uh, transcripts uh, do not have any alignment so we actually have to align the audio and you can see here this is an example of how we do alignment and while we're doing the alignment we actually do something very cool which is taking hard negative examples as um, mismatched pairs so this is really useful for the contrastive uh, loss function here. It makes it work really hard to learn these subtleties to be able to distinguish between the two classes. And we use a uh, standard audio representation using the mil spectrograms. And for the phones, we just use one hot encoders, uh, one hot uh, encoded matrices, and we have sentinel values for batted. Uh, batting here is basically at the end, while the audio is batted in the center. So our best model here is a Siamese CNN network. Um, and the thing I really want to emphasize here uh, is during training, we introduced a self-training, like a semi-supervised method to learn the hard negatives while you're training. So each round, uh, let's say like every three epochs or so, we will score the embeddings and try to find out the ones that are hard negatives and add them to the training set. The interesting thing we found at the uh, end of the training is um, the embedding space here, as you can see, after projecting it in 2D, it looks really good in terms of like uh, how close the words that are uh, similarly sounding to each other. And we also found this nice like analogy in the phonetic space when you say like, what's cat to cool? Um, if you say bad, what would it be? It would be actually pool and so on. The interesting task we also have is um, we can re-rank ASR hypotheses now by comparing the results from the NASR, uh, its top result to our own top result, and seeing if the ASR distance to the audio segments embedding is too high, then this is an obvious mistake. Uh, here's a summary of our results. Uh, we trained on about 622k examples, and of course, the set keeps growing uh, because of self-training, and we tested on 19k examples, and the best model achieved an F1 score of 0.95. Thank you very much.